I want the Queen Elizabeth II. And we're with it, guys. Bye. Now I'm late because we hit the Sheikh Zayed Road traffic. I forgot it's Thursday, it's rush hour, and everyone's trying to get home and onto the weekend. And I've got to get to a suit fitting, and I'm already late. So you can't come to our fashion week and not look sharp. So I've come to Suit Supply to help me out because I've had many suits from them before for different events and I've always been impressed. So one of the guys is gonna run me through the style for today and make me look nice and dapper. We've got a toss up with the ties. This one, we've got a red. Or this one. I think personally, I reckon I think this one. I like this one. This is the tie. You like it or not? It's nice, but if you would like, you can go for something better. Now this is the color of the season. Yeah. Like the blue and the pink This one. tie? No, this one. This one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I've been kitted out at Suit Supply and they've made me look extremely dapper. And I was a little bit late but when I went in there, but we've made up some good time because what I love about those guys is they just kick me out, style me up and get me out the door, which is great. So we should be on time. We've gone for a blue suit, which, uh, which is smart. And I'm gonna arrive in my Lincoln, which should make me uh, arrive in style. Now, we're going somewhere particularly special because the Arab Fashion Week this year is held at the QE2. So here we are at the QE2. A little bit smaller than I expected, but uh So here we are at the QE2, and you may be wondering what am I doing at the QE2 in UAE? Well, after it retired, the UAE government brought it here and renovated it and opened it just a couple of weeks ago in order to be a hotel. Now tonight, Arab Fashion Week are hosting an event here and at the moment I'm not actually in the QE2, I'm just at this uh, museum down at the bottom here which explains to you all about the QE2 and uh, we're gonna go in. Now for those who've never really heard about the QE2, it was one of the prides of Great Britain. It was a boat built in 1967 for Queen Elizabeth and became a cruise ship uh, for England right until uh, I think uh, early 2000s when, uh, when it retired and the UAE government took it on and uh, have now just opened it. So we're gonna take a look inside and uh, I'm quite inspired and ready to go. So here we are at the Yacht Club. Now this is where all the entertainment would take place on the boat when it did its big cruises. So you can imagine some probably pretty famous acts that came here. Fly me to the moon. Let me play a monster star. Uh, magicians, um, I can imagine some big time singers here when it used to cruise from England to New York and, and so forth. So this room is really classy. You get the feeling that you've gone back about 50 years to 1967 when the place was built and it was built in this style, almost like a cabaret room. I think this is the uh, the Yacht Club, they're calling it. So this is where people will come and have drinks and food and watch cabaret and singers and magic acts and all this while they're on the ship. Now, the ship was a transatlantic liner originally when it was launched in 1967, but a couple of years later, it became a cruise ship. And so it became the flagship cruise ship for the, uh, for the UK. So this is one of the cabin rooms. They've now turned it into a hotel. So this one's still being renovated, hence why it's covered in plastic everywhere. I don't even think I'm gonna be in here, to be honest. But you can see they've updated it with some brand new LED screens and uh, nice soft beds. Now it's not exactly the most spacious, but you know, it wasn't meant to be because it was a ship. So um, we can take a look, tiny little bathrooms. And uh, now it's got a nice view of Dubai. 
well, the bathrooms look a little bit more updated. I can't imagine it was built like this in 1967, but they've put in some, uh, some marble here to make it a bit more plush, because obviously they're gonna rent these out as hotel rooms now. Anyway, if you leave me be. entered the section where all the hotel rooms are. This used to be where all the cabins are, but they're now revamped them all to make them into hotel rooms and rent them out. Now we're gonna take a look at the deck upstairs. So here we are on the boat deck, and I've got the lovely Dubai skyline just behind me there, which looks really good from here. As you can see, it's got a little bit darker now, and uh, it's starting to feel like I'm on the Titanic ship, and I'm Jack, and uh, I don't know where Rose is, but I better check where she is in case she jumped off the back of the ship. So, here's the casino. Who would have thought you'd see that in Dubai? But this one's just for display only, but I'm sure if you've you got an old pound coin, you can probably have a go. I'm sure they still work. I need uh, some tokens for uh, $50,000. So, I don't know if we're really meant to be in here, but this is where the casino is. I'm having a little adventure around. We should have seen that beforehand. Anyway, let's go. So I'm here with Laura Tabbert, who's the spokesperson of the Arab Fashion Council and a good friend of mine. And uh, she's helped put on today's event, but also you've been with them for a very long time. I have, I've been with them since the beginning. We're in our sixth edition. Um, our first edition took place two years ago. Um, it took place actually at the Park Hyatt, which was a beautiful venue. Right. Um, and it's been growing from edition to edition. We have designers from all around the world showcasing their collections here with us. And when you say Arab Fashion Week, it's not any fashion week. It's very similar to Paris, London and Milan Fashion Week. So we're basically on an international level. Uh, due to the quality of designers that we have showcasing their collections with us. We have designers from all around the world. Yes, it is called Arab, but that does not mean that we're restricted to Arab designers. We have Chinese, Japanese, um, Italian, French, Dutch, Moroccan, Algerian. We have people from all around the world showcasing their collections with us, and that's the beauty about Arab fashion week. Okay, we're backstage right now. This is where all the makeup goes on for the fashion show. Yeah, so, oh, Paris, sorry. Not her feet, please. She's not her, wearing flip flops. No, I'm not, not her feet. feet. Hello. Okay, right, we're backstage and I'm here with my friend Samira Olfat, who's the head of the Max Factor Academy. Trying to reach up. I'm, I'm, I'll come down for you so yeah. it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and she's doing all the makeup for all the models. Not me, uh, all the team as well. The team, there's a lot yeah. of makeup artists here, yeah. so you must have had a big job. Uh, yeah, well, we are the Max Sector Academy and these girls are the graduate of the Max Sector Academy and we are handling the backstage of Arab Fashion Week. Wow, and how many models have you have you put through? Oh my god, 40 models and we have 5 shows per day and every half an hour we need to change a group of... So that's 40 people. times 5 times 4 days? Yes. Right. Imagine. That's a lot of work. Do you know how many are there? That was like... I'm like a makeup 300 artist. Million. I'm, yeah, I'm a makeup artist. I'm not good at, you know, counting. <laughs> Did you just ask a question? <laughs> I'm on your show already. Yeah, you're, oh, you you're on my show. You want to step out of the show and I take your show? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the new presenter of my show. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is Paris's show. It's yeah, Paris's show. Paris's show, uh, and I'm called Winnie. I'm the next. She's taking over. I'm She's taking the new over. presenter. She's the next the Naomi Campbell. Campbell. Oh, say that again. She's the next Naomi Campbell. Yeah, I'm taking over the show, and uh, for this moment, he's gonna be. You can just step off, please. Okay, this, I'm. This I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You. Well, that's our fashion week done, and it was a great event. But I'm really tired now. It's quite late. Saw so some great designers and. Uh, Met some interesting people actually, but I think the spectacular of the whole thing is this ship, which is quite amazing. So, really worth coming to take a look. I mean, if you haven't been on the QE2 before, which I was too young to, then come down. You can even stay the night here. So, uh, definitely worth having a look. It's time to go home now, and I'm going to take my QE2 back home. This beast. <laughs>